Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSailVR.com. One quick note before we get started is if you have any issues with live effects not opening after you've plugged in external monitors, you might need to do Control Alt Delete, go into your task manager, search for Nahemic, and kill all the processors that are called Nahemic. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to set up Assimilate Live Effects with multiple monitors. So in this case, this is gonna act like our regular computer to monitor, and this will be like an LED wall. So this would be a wall that's driven by two processors. So half the wall on one side, half the wall on the other, but it works the exact same whether if you have two external monitors like this. So I'll show you how to set that up and what we need to do. So if we were to just open up Assimilate right now, it would open up on our computer monitor and on one of our external monitors. <clears throat> and if you wanted to switch this one to the other monitor over here, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You can go to System Settings, Advanced, Search for Dual. It's Dual Head is what they call this. So under Dual Head, there's this display Dual Head Display Device. And you could turn this on. You could set it to... Uh, one, two, or two, and you could switch this to a different monitor if you needed to. But that's not what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and exit out of Assimilate. You can see we've got our nice uh, Silver Draft machine here that we're running this from. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing a few things. So first, let's look up NVIDIA Control Panel. Let's open this up. And under the NVIDIA control panel, we're going to use the Mosaic. We're going to set up with Mosaic. Now, if you don't have an A6000 or a Quadro line card, there is another NVIDIA way to do this. But essentially, what we're going to be doing is changing it. So instead of this being monitor 1, monitor 2, and monitor 3, it's going to be monitor 1 and monitor 2, where all or both of those looks like one monitor to window. So if we open up uh, display, so duplicate or extended display. So if we open up our, this is our Windows version here, what display looks like. Um, if we come down to, if we come up here, we can see that monitor one, we, we can just set this to identify. This is right now looks like monitor one this looks like two, and this looks like three. Um, and what we need is this to not be two and three, but rather to be one and two be both of these. So let's go back to Mosaic to set up Mosaic. Now, before we get started setting up Mosaic, um, let's talk about something first, which is we're going to, in this case, combine these two. But when we do that, we're actually going to lose this monitor so we need to make sure that we can see these monitors before we set up Mosaic. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to accept the changes on the other monitors, and that's going to be a problem. So and right now, this is fine. I can see it here. I can see both monitors, so everything's good. So let's go ahead and click on Create New Configuration. And then um, for displays, you can do this many different ways, but in this scenario, we want to have one editor and one external monitor. That's pretty much going to be true for anything you're doing with live effects. Even if you have 10 screens, you would want basically nine to be to look like one and then one for your editor. So we're going to choose one by two. You can also do vertical. So some people like to, to have it vertical. Um, it's really, that's just user preference. I'm going to set it up to be one and two. And then I'm going to do, I am recommending, yeah, I'm using, yeah, doing that. And then I'm going to go to next. And then here you can select the monitors that you want to set up. In this case, we want these two Dells to be, and we can see it's one and two, and they correspond to the numbers that are on the screen. So that's correct. Um, for resolution, typically you want this to be whatever the highest resolution it is. This may depend on your wall. The refresh rate may also, right now you can see I only have one option. There's different ways to change this. And depending on your setup, this might be important. You also, if you have a Quadro sync card, 
um, you, you might need to set all that up before you make your mosaic so that it's the correct refresh rate. But for now, this is what I have and that looks fine. So I'm gonna go to next. And then here you can click and drag these on. So I want this one to be one and I want two to be two, just like that. And now if we press apply, um, I'm, I'm about to push apply. When we press apply, this editor monitor is gonna disappear and it's going to apply those changes. And so this is the part where you really need to make sure that you're ready for this editor screen to go away. So I'm gonna go ahead and press apply. So it's applying the changes now, but we need to be here and be on standby so we can apply the changes. Uh, we can accept the changes when they do apply. So you can see we have 15 seconds to accept these changes. Sometimes it can be hard to find that when you're on a big LED wall. <clears throat> but so this is good. So now we have, um, if we look at the windows, this is what I was talking about. So if we bring this over here so we can see it, which I'll bring it over here to monitor two. So now Windows sees this as this two is this one long, this, these two monitors is basically seen as one monitor in terms of how Windows sees it. And to get our editor monitor back on, what we need to do is go back to our displays here. You can get here by right clicking, going to display settings, and you can also search for display and extend um, display, these displays. But you can see here, if we go to one, if we click on one, which is our editor monitor, and we scroll down, we can see multiple displays. Right now it's set to show only on two. We need to set this to extend these displays. And now same thing, down here on this monitor, we have eight seconds to keep these changes or else it's going to revert. So now we have that set up and it looks like it's set up properly. We can go back up here and we can see that now it's set to one and two. We can drag this to be wherever we want in this particular setup. I might want it to be um, set up like this so that I can go up to get to my monitor here. So now when I open up Assimilate, you can see that it spans across these two screens. Now they're not really lined up, just the way that my cart is made, how they're, how they're mounted to my cart, as well as the monitors themselves having some extra bevel on the sides. But if this is an LED wall, this would be lined up perfectly. We need to set up a new project and we'll call this tutorial. And what's important here is we want to set the format settings, um, the resolution to match what this screen is up here. So if we go to our displays again, and we click on the long display, we can see what that resolution is. So you can see here the display resolution is 3840 by 1200. So we're going to go into the format settings. We're going to go to format custom. And here we're going to put 3840 by 1200. Enter. And then same with the frame rate. So let's set the frame rate to 2997 in this for right now and press OK. If you need to change these settings or you messed up and you accidentally entered the project or whatever, you can always come back here and then go to project settings and change the frame rate, for instance, here if you needed to, etc. So now if we enter our project, we can go to filler and just fill this with, let's say, a color bar. And you can see it's that long resolution. If we double click on this and we look at our screens, we can see that it's set up correctly. So we have our, we have white, yellow, teal, green, purple, red, blue, and that looks correct. You can also go to plugins, effects, and then test pattern. I'm going to do apply on there. And then I can change this from checkerboard to LED grid pattern. And you can enter in however many, um, panels you have. I'm just going to add 
a random number here. Let's see if we go to 15. But now you can see that they line up. You can see how using this uh, LED wall grid can help you figure out if your mapping is correct, etc. So you would still need to follow all these steps before you could do a projection setup. With a projection setup, you can also apply um, custom meshes. You can do, if you have a curved wall, you can apply all that stuff there. But either way, you have to know how to do all of these things first. So it's important that we talked about them. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.